You're going to earn what? Knowledge. Okay, and then money. So whatever you want to take to yourself, extra, you're going to earn for that. Okay. It can be knowledge, it can be for your health, it can be happiness, it can be for your money. So health, wealth, happiness and success. The secret formula for all these things, it is there. So today I will be uh, sharing with you the secret formula, how to achieve, begin your life and how to create your self-identity. Okay. And also you are common students, second year PUC common students. Uh, this year you have to write your exam and then there will be a lot of stress, tension, all these things going on and competition stress also will be there. So how to overcome that? Even that I will be helping you to uh, overcome and enable that. How you can work on yourself. So the title over here is Awaken Your Inner Potential. So what it means with potential? So what it means? To awaken means what? All of you are wakeful only, you know, not sleeping. But still title is awaken. So why awaken? Like you are one of the Doesn't come. That's fine, I'll do it with this one. So awaken your inner potential. So what is there inside you? Let us awaken that and you will see how creative you can be. So just let me know. Yeah, let us be like friends over here, okay? Nothing that I am coming here like a teacher or something. Don't think like that. I am your close friend now. So when you are with your close friend, you will disclose many things, okay? And you will tell your concerns, you will tell your worries, you will tell all these problems are happening, how to face it all. So with respect to your studies, with respect to your exams, you tell me what is it that is coming in between you and your studies. A little bit louder. I'm not able to hear. Tell them tell fast. Huh? What is going to come is your cell phone. So your uh, Cell phone will come. Your studies. It's your cell phone or mobile, whatever it is. Apart from that, what comes in between you and your studies? Distractions. Distractions. So in that distractions, what are they? Playing. Playing. Okay, and then? You open your book, you, you start reading and then suddenly you feel like going to the ground and then play. Okay, then what else? You open your book, you feel sleepy. You feel sleepy, okay. So though you are wakeful enough in the morning, you get up and then still the moment you open, you feel sleepy. But somebody tells me there is a good thing going on, movie is going on, then you will run and go. If somebody calls you for a walk or something outside, then you will run and go. So why it is going to happen only with respect to your studies? Why you are not able to give that 100% when it comes to studies? Nobody has asked you not to study well. But still, we don't get that zeal and spirit. Any idea? Then study. Okay. So that is one thing. But you have to finish certain kind of an education if you want to go to the next level. And we know that, that you have to finish your PUC and some part of your professional degrees and then you are going to go for the next level. But still, mind will go always towards distraction and diversion. Okay? So why it is so? For something else you have concentration. For something else you have time. Okay, you will make time and then you go. But when it comes to studies, what happens? Suddenly you feel who will study? Any answer? Why is it like that? Lack of interest. Okay, lack of interest is happening when it comes to your studies. So how to gain that interest? How to build that interest? How to build? Okay, I will be guiding you through that particular task. So can one of you come? So, can one of you come? Can one of you? So, all of you have come uh, with books. I am happy. <laughs> the teachers are informed. 
back in this so you take a marker okay you take a marker and write year okay year year of an elephant aane aane year of an elephant okay join and then draw it okay wherever you have to complete that the portion that's fine that's fine nothing to be very uh, structured high school somewhere have you drawn or yes. drawn okay so don't now you are into the commerce subject this is something belonging to biology okay but still you are able to come and do it and i called one by one but each of you were able to figure out which part to be placed where got it you did make it in a hanging situation somewhere i somewhere somebody could have done no i just told first person to draw the ear and then take somebody could have put it down somewhere else and then it would have got a different structure today you did something different okay on the board which you don't do every day so how to enhance your creativity skill set in your life today you are not that person you have lot of problem with memory concentration focus all that but still you will be able to develop that so how to make that one thing is to do one task different every day okay so how to apply that formula we ask you to do something creative every day so in what way you can do that any idea any idea wherein you can do something creative on a daily basis louder drawing drawing okay what is cooking cooking okay every day start thinking to do something different that is going to activate your right brain So, in what way it is going to help you for the exams? Memory. Okay, and then, so logically, memory will come. But in what way, right brain is left brain and right brain? There are two things, no? Yeah. Okay, in what way? Left is logical, logical brain. Right is connected to your creativity. So, why we need to work with both? Why not only one? For your studies, logical thinking is enough. Okay, you need information. You write and then you reproduce. But I am telling even this is important. The right part of your brain. So why it is important? Balance. Okay, good. And then what else? To be something different in your life. Otherwise, everybody are learning the same subject. But how you can be more creative in putting it on the paper during your examination? 
how creative you can be to add something to that which even the examiner will feel surprised and how to invoke it from inside you you have that potential okay we can invoke it from inside and you can do something different on a daily basis once you go back you just go online search you give as mid brain exercise it's called as mid brain exercise okay so that mid brain exercise you have to go and give search i will do one thing now we will do it together and then later on there are multiples of such exercise it's very jovial to do very happily you can do that okay we'll do together now wherever you are sitting over there take your left hand take your left hand in the air okay in the space you are going to draw a triangle 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 okay triangle left hand because i need both the hands now next okay so left hand draw a triangle draw a triangle take your right hand draw a rectangle rectangle difference you know no triangle and rectangle okay now use both your hands and then draw together draw together <laughs> together you are going to draw triangle and rectangle do it do it do it and see do it and so all of you make four columns okay in your uh, notebook four columns you can make the first uh, you write your the first column you write strength strength okay so in the first column you write your strength all of you should do it okay strength means what it can be a commitment dedication patience you might have good communication all these will come under your strength so you you write what are your strength okay in that book you write what are your strengths if patience is your strength then put it over there if you have good communication put it if you have a hard working dedication that also you can write so that comes under your strength that is your the core values the virtues okay principle nature like that you write about your strength so don't ask anybody else or don't see anybody else book also it is your strength not somebody else's strength whatever you feel is defining you for example if there is a uh, your name can i take spurti spurti okay so the spurti uh, her name is spurti so if i ask you to add one kind of a rhyming word for that very that will define about your personality a verb okay which is going to define your personality so what you can add an adjective to that spurti in front of you what you can add which will define you inspiration inspiration inspirational spurti okay something with a rhyming word with yes only Any language you want to put, any mother tongue you want to put, not an issue. Okay, next we'll see your name. Rakshita. Rakshita. Okay, how you can tell with an adjective? What you can tell? Think, think, think. Okay, in voice. Anybody can tell me? Anybody? Boys, in front of your name, what you can define about your core value? That shows your strength. Anybody, boys? You tell, not an issue. You tell. We'll correct you. Something is wrong. We'll correct. Little louder. Ma, Gula. Gula the great. We love the grey. Okay, yeah, good. So like that, you should put a rhyming word, then adjective, which is going to define you. Who else? So you should be that person also. Yeah. 
Shashikala? Sincere. So you should put as sincere Shashikala. Like that. Okay? Sincere Shashikala. Like that. So your name, the moment you tell about yourself, you should project about what you are. Okay? In that way you have to redefine your self and start working on your what? Core values. Core values. Your principal nature and all that. So in the second column, you are going to put something called as weakness. The title is weakness. So what is that weakness? What comes under weakness? Any idea? Negative. Fear? Okay. The negative emotions come under your weaknesses. So you put whatever you feel is your weakness. Whatever you feel is your weakness. <coughs> you feel you are not so good at so what are the opportunities which will help you to overcome that? That particular, what is that? Weakness. So you have to get that opportunity. So what are the opportunities? Can anybody tell me what you can apply in life to create that opportunity to overcome your weakness? Reading books. Reading books, okay. And then? Inspiring by in, inspired by, motivated by others, okay? Research. Research, okay, doing something in that area. Then? Positive thinking. Positive thinking, okay, very good. I'll come with that, okay? There's a process, I'll come with that, which will help you. So, opportunities is something which has been created for you today by this college, okay? So, you should be thankful for them to creating, to provide this opportunity for you. So you are going to take this opportunity and you are going to overcome what? Your weaknesses. Okay. Your today's weakness should become tomorrow's strength. Got it? Whatever you put over there, low confidence should be, you become confident. Low self-esteem, you become with a good self-esteem. Afterwards, so how to do I tell you. The fourth column, what is here? It is threat. Threat, okay. So what are threats now? Which might hurt you. Something which might put you at risk, something which might really hurt you or endanger you, something is going to happen, something danger. Okay. For example, I have got, uh, I stay in North India and I have got my job in South India. Okay. I have never come to South India. I am always there in North India. Now the threat is what? When I come to South India, you don't know the people and then what else? The language, the food, the culture, okay, all these come under threat. But it's a gift that I have given opportunity to learn something new. When I can learn some new language, I can learn some new culture, I can also get acquainted with new people, okay, who are really different from the North Indians. So this is where I can start doing my own analysis from today onwards. Threats are there in everybody's life. But I should take a critical decision, it's called critical thinking, to take risk in my life. So critical thinking does not mean negative thinking. It's only that I'm going to take risk in my life to take the next step. Otherwise, you'll be here only. You'll not be able to go for the next level. So threat can be anything. But from today onwards, you're going to work on solving what? Your weaknesses. You're going to convert that into your threat. So how to do that? I will give one or two techniques, okay, that you can start applying. On a daily basis, what you can do is, one beautiful practice is there, you can purchase some small balloons in the house, one packet and keep them. For next 21 days, for next 21 days, you are going to blow the balloon, while blowing, you should blow out what? The weaknesses. Anger, resentment, frustration, fear, phobia, anxiety, stress, everything. Whatever you feel or is coming, that you are going to blow. And keep one pen or a toothpick beside you. So once it is completely blown, you are going to break it. Okay? And then the balloon is going to burst. But how this technique is... Okay? Okay, I'm removing it out. 
it is acquiring my space over here no i am putting it outside so when you put it outside and when you burst it is out of your what mind got it 21 days it becomes a pattern in your brain cells okay that is where when you do something which you want to overcome do it for next 21 days you will be able to come out of that is it a very difficult technique to do it's a very simple technique even if you have any other issues also with you in your life just apply this very simple technique okay so we will see one more technique how to overcome this particular challenge so what she told about the positive thinking or positive uh, what we call an auto suggestion so before that i will just show you one small demo and then we will do it okay we will do it together so all of you now you sitting no in that space only cross your uh, like this you here holding separate your four finger four finger you are going to separate it like this okay you are going to keep it separate so do it otherwise not be able to understand once you keep it keep it to your eye level don't keep it down nor keep it high so keep it to your eye level so like this you are going to keep it to your eye level and observe the gap between both the fingers now do this properly and later on when i am narrating something don't see somewhere else just see between the gap and feel that it is happening okay so don't don't think logically will it really happen how it's going to happen no question let like a small child surrender and leave it to happen okay so keep your books properly if it falls then the technique will go <laughs> you will be holding your books okay now sit straight and then observe the gap between your finger don't look anywhere as you observe now both of your four fingers are becoming like a magnet they are now getting a magnetic energy magnetic power and as you getting the power both the fingers are now getting attracted towards each other they are getting now pulled towards each other they are coming closer and closer towards each other they are getting a complete magnetic attraction both the fingers are now stuck and glued together both the fingers are coming so close that they are getting now stuck and glued together you are able to feel that attraction that pulling sensation is happening it is just coming closer and closer and both of them are tight 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 they are completely totally stuck and glued two three now slowly release them okay when you able to witness that the fingers automatically will start moving closer even though you try to keep them like this only when you able to witness or no when you able to witness so how it happened how it happened imagination okay excellent imagination and then we had focus got it we had focus we didn't keep our mind somewhere here and there we had absolute focus in one particular task same thing happens with respect to your studies or examinations so what is happening we are not able to focus in that particular point in that direction why because i have all the running thoughts which are coming in my mind it can be fear it can be anything but once i overcome that i'll be able to focus so focus happened from where from outside or from inside inside from inside so from today onwards your mobile television that person this person what is that it is all your excuses okay it comes all under your excuses not to study so at the most how many years you will study at the most 6 to 7 years next 6 to 7 years maximum okay so 6 to 7 years of your entire life if we take some 70 80 years of our life span in that you study for how many years maximum 20 25 25 years maximum you are going to study So remaining seventy five percent of your life, you are doing what? Job. You are doing job. You are enjoying. You are not studying over there. Okay. But still, what we do? We are not able to give hundred percent to our studies. Though we don't do it lifelong. 
So what we tell in Kannada is Kashta pattu odhubadhu, ishta pattu odhubadhu Okay, the subject I don't like Your interest, your desire Okay, and then start learning So I'll show you one video Which will help you to know the power of imagination One of your friend told no That imagination is going to work So how do you see that? Then you get an idea for that
take deep breath from your navel portion and exhale from your mouth. We call it as diaphragmatic breathing. You are going to inhale through your nose and exhale from your mouth. And don't cross your legs. Keep your legs straight. Those who are crossing, don't open your eyes, but make your legs proper. That's all. Keep your back straight and chin little high. Don't bend your head. Little you. Keep your chin little upright. Slowly now, as you inhale deeply, just feel your inhaling lot of clarity, confidence, courage, memory, excellent communication, writing skills, reading skills, excellent memory is entering into your mind and body. As you exhale your breath through your mouth, you are going to do like this. Through your mouth, just release. Don't open your eyes. Do it for some 6 to 7 rounds. I will be guiding you to a journey. Continue doing that. As you throw the air out of your mouth, feel that you are releasing out all your fear, all your stress, all your concerns, all your worries. Everything. You are releasing it through your outgoing breath. With every inhale, you are inhaling love, peace, tranquility, the beauty, courage, confidence into your mind and body. As you exhale, you are releasing out all your concerns, all your fear, all your worries, all your tension. Now with the closed eyes, there might be some kind of a thought which is popping up or some image which is disturbing you. You are going to just look at those thoughts and images at a distance. No attachment, no rejection. As a witness, you are not going to attach to them. And now, you might get some image also. But as you get those disturbing thoughts or image, you are going to slightly smile at those thoughts and images. So bring a beautiful smile on your face. Smile. Smile. Now just spread the smile to those thoughts and those images. As you smile, the thoughts will dissolve, the image will become blurred. Your mind will become a beautiful white canvas where you can rewrite whatever you want in your life for this exam and for your future. You are going to set your goal now for this day in your life. So give your heart, mind, body and soul into this process. So take your smile to the entire part of your body, your face, your shoulders, your chest portion, your heart region, your stomach, your both the legs, your entire, your both the hands and your body. Feel that you are spreading the joy, the love, the connection your own self. I'll be counting from 3 to 1 and slowly feel and imagine that you are in a beautiful place, you are alone, you are very much protected over there, but you are there in a place where you would love to be. 3, 2, 1, feel and sense now, you are in a place where you would love to be. And you are sitting over there in a very comfortable position. Now slowly think about one by one in your mind each and every subject which you have to write for your exam. In this journey by the count of three to one you will start going to one beautiful library the world's biggest library. By the count of three to one you will become a size of a miniature, like a very tiny person. Three, feel that your size is reducing. Two, much more it is reducing. One, you become so tiny, you are entering into your brain now, you are entering into your head portion now and you are peeping into your own head portion. Feel that you are peeping now into your head. 
and the entire network of brain is there over there. Here and there, there are some blocks over there. Somewhere there is something which is appearing as a blocked area over there, which can be low concentration, it can be low focus, it can be low memory, whatever it is. There are two to three blocks over there which are very much visible and you want to clear that. They are the obstacles for you to retain the good concentration and memory. As you're weeping, you're getting inside and observe that block. By the count of one, two, three, feel that you're holding a pistol in your hand and you're going to shoot over there all those blocks and give your 100% to this particular your activity over there. One, now get ready. Two, complete, you're ready now. Three, you're going to shoot over there one by one all those blockages. As you shoot over there, the blocks are getting cleared and your whole brain cell is now getting completely, totally lightened up, brightened up. Your whole brain space is now getting lightened and brightened up. You feel so happy over there and you feel that concentration, that memory power, that focus is there, it is increasing 10 times more than before. And as you enter slowly, one by one step, three, two, one, you are entering into the world's biggest library over there. All the books connected to your subject are there. Now feel and imagine the presence of the God whom you love or the Guru or the mentor whom you love and feel their energies are entering into the books and the book each subject is getting converted as a beautiful light and that light, that knowledge is getting entered into your brain cell and feel that, oh wow, yes, it's happening. I love all the subjects. Bring that love, bring that warmth, bring that connectivity. And slowly with all these beautiful feelings, you are preparing now for your exams. So in your mind, slowly now, you are residing in your house, you are sitting over there, taking one by one subject, the book in your hand, you are taking a lot of happiness, connectivity, you are giving a smile at the subject and telling that subject, I love you, I am happy to study and take that subject with that warmth and love and compassion, feel that it's your best friend and yes, you are manifesting it and take the book and kiss it, embrace it and open the book and say to yourself, whatever I read remains as a photographic memory. So keep reading the book one by one, all the subjects. You are very well retained in the memory. It's 100% now. The focus is there. And you are ready now for the exam. The examination dates are being announced. The previous day you are ready with all the things. Your hall ticket, your pen, pencil, whatever you want for the exam. The confidence is there. Clarity is there. Everything is there in your mind. In your mind, say to yourself that I am happy, I am healthy, I am creative. I am an achiever, I am great, I am confident, I am successful, I have excellent memory and concentration, I am focused. So just feel in your mind all these positive things. I love all these subjects. I am good at all these subjects. I am relaxed when I take my exams and have excellent marks in all these subjects. My brain is very active with excellent photographic memory. So take all these beautiful emotions into your mind and slowly you are walking out of that space and entering into the examination hall. As you enter, your mind is very calm, very much relaxed, very much focused. You are sitting in the respective place over there. There is a registration number put over there. You are sitting there. As you sit, you are feeling very much calm and peaceful. You are ready for the question paper to be taken. The first your answer sheet will be given. You are going to fill in all the details over there. And later on, the question paper is given to you in your hand. You feel so happy. Oh wow, I will be able to do it in the stipulated time. 
and slowly start writing one by one answer for the exact question. I am just so happy that even before 10 to 15 minutes of that time, you are able to complete. Your handwriting is very much lucid over there. It is very clear over there. And you feel so happy to have accomplished it. You are again going round one by one all the questions and the answers. You are just looking at that and you feel so happy you are finished on time and happily you are giving the answer sheet with lot of additional papers attached to that to the examiner. So like this one by one you are writing all the exams for all the subjects and as you go back to your home or your place where you stay in that book in front of that subject write your percentage write your score now in your mind etch it in your mind so write that particular score in front of each subject so one by one you go into the exam you are creating a legacy for yourself you are giving your best with confidence and clarity you are free from all the fear you are able to recall and remember all the answers it is very much clear you are writing so one by one slowly Put that scores in front of all the subjects. Just feel that you are putting it over there. And observe that entire image of all the subjects. And then the score over there. And total it. Total the scores. And see the final percentage of that. Look into the final percentage of your score. And take it as a blueprint in your mind. Whatever you are doing now will happen in reality if you give your heart, mind, body and soul into this process with commitment, with clarity and dedication. Don't hesitate to put the marks over there. You will be able to get it. 100% you will be able to perform well. So don't be having a kind of a hesitation over there. Put it. And see that complete scorecard as your blueprint in your mind. So capture that blueprint in your mind and transfer it to every cell of yours. Feel that every cell of yours has taken this blueprint and you are able to manifest it 100%. So lovingly, affectionately, thank your mind and body for helping you for all this coordination and slowly by the count of 1, 2, 3, you will start coming out of your brain out of your head portion one as you're coming you're taking this imprint of the blueprint of your scorecard and slowly as you come out two you're spreading it to your entire body you're becoming thankful to yourself in your mind bring the image of your parents and in your mind say to them that you're thankful to them give a gratitude to them if you have committed some mistakes just tell to them in your mind it's a very powerful technique Seek forgiveness from them. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Now slowly bring your image in front of you and say to yourself also, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Now your new image which is going to come and merge with you. It is having complete confidence, clarity and a deep self-love, self-respect, self-acceptance. Now become aware of yourself, of your surroundings, the beautiful smile on your face, slowly, gently, thank your mind and body and with a beautiful smile and gratitude, you may now open your eyes.
every day you are going to see that four card. Okay. Night when you go to sleep, you see it, see it for one minute and then go to sleep. Morning when you wake up, see that again and then you wake up. Keep that below your pillow. This book. Okay. So write these quotes and literally you will manifest. See, I have worked on this almost for 50,000 students till date. From 2013. I am doing all this. I will tell you whatever has been done for this particular activity, you will get the same score. And I have got the good feedback from all the colleges, all the students. It's an unbelievable process, but you have to start working on that. Okay? I'll share one PDF file with your uh, teachers, then uh, they can send it to you. They can give a printout of that. Tell it every day in the night when you go to sleep, morning when you wake up, and then see this score card. Okay? Uh, I really feel that it has not only really enlightened the students, it has also enlightened everybody who was a part of this uh, session, in both the sessions. And thank you very much ma'am for this wonderful session. And now I call upon uh, Ms. Uh, Chai Chaitra ma'am to render the vote of thanks. On behalf of the college, I extend my most sincere thanks to our esteemed guest, Dr. Sava Mondala Khanapuri for sparing her valuable time and for gracing the occasion. Ma'am, your thoughts have truly really inspired us. Thank you. I would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Durgavati Sharma for being with us today. Thank you, ma'am. A special mention to our respective principals, Ms. Chitra S.P. and Ms. Jyoti Vidna for being so kind and supportive. Thank you both of you. I am immensely thankful to all the students, teaching and non-teaching staff for their cooperation. Thank you everyone.